Hey, what's going on, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com. Alabama's 2021 schedule has been released. Let's run through it. Kicking off with Miami, the Hurricanes, on September 4th in Atlanta, Georgia. Alabama leads the all-time series 14-3. Last met in 1993 with Alabama winning 34-13 in the Sugar Bowl. Alabama is 5-0 all-time at the new Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, which opened up in 2017. Week 2, the Crimson Tide will take on Mercer on September 11th. It'll be in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Brian Denny Stadium. In 2017, the two teams met with Alabama winning 56-0. The Crimson Tide will then travel to Gainesville, Florida, take on the Florida Gators on September 18th. Now, Alabama leads the all-time series 26-14. Last season, Alabama defeated Florida in the SEC title 52-46. The two teams have played five times for the SEC title since 2018. Crimson Tide riding a seven-game winning streak against Florida. Alabama will then host Southern Mississippi on September 25th in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Alabama leads the all-time series 35-6-2. 2019, the Crimson Tide beat Southern Mississippi 47-7. On October 2nd, Alabama will welcome Ole Miss and Lane Kiffin. I don't know if they'll welcome him, right? He used to coach here, and the two teams have had some shootouts. Last year in 2020, it was Alabama 63 to Ole Miss 48 in Oxford. In 2019, it was 59 to 31. 2018, it was 62 to 7. It's Ole Miss. Now, note, Ole Miss did defeat Alabama in back to back seasons from 2014 to 2015. Alabama will then take on Texas A&M and College Station, Texas on October 9th. Alabama leads the all-time series 52-10-2. Alabama riding an eight-game winning streak. Alabama, of course, will take on another former assistant of Nick Saban and Jimbo Fisher. Last season, Alabama defeated Texas A&M 52-24. Following A&M, Alabama will take on Mississippi State on October 16th in Stark, Vegas. In 2020, Alabama shut out Mississippi State 41-0. That was Mike Leach's first time going up against Nick Saban. In 2019, Alabama 38, Mississippi State 7. Alabama riding a 13-game win streak against Mississippi State. Alabama will then take on Tennessee on October 23rd. The Vols will have a new head football coach in Josh Heupel. Now, Alabama is riding a 14-game win streak, so I know Alabama fans like to smoke those victory cigars, probably planning to smoke a cigar way out. I know that's rat poison, but it is what it is. Alabama will then take on LSU on November 6th in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Alabama leads the all-time series 54-26-5. Alabama took it to LSU in 2020, winning 55 to 17. Note that LSU has beaten Alabama five times since 2006. The New Mexico State Aggies come to Tuscaloosa, Alabama for a second time. Last time they came up in 2019, Alabama won 62 to 10. Now, Alabama will be giving New Mexico State a nice payday of $1.9 million. And in 2019, they got 1.7. Note, New Mexico State, one of the only programs in Division I that didn't have a season in 2020. Alabama will then take on Arkansas on November 20th in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Alabama leads the all-time series. 21 to 8. Alabama 52 to Arkansas 3 in 2020. And in 2019, Alabama won 48 to 7. Alabama riding a 13 game win streak against the Hogs. And then on November 27th, Alabama will be taking on the Auburn Tigers. Alabama leads that series 47 37 in one tie. In 2020, Alabama won 42 to 13. In 2019, Auburn beat Alabama 48 to 45. So let's look at Alabama's schedule kind of from. Uh, the first game to the last game of the season, I want you to get your thoughts inside the comment box. What do you think about the Crimson Tide schedule? Really looking forward to that opener against Miami. It's been a long time since those two teams met. When you look at the schedule, it's pretty favorable. I like Alabama um, to really have a, a good setup throughout the season, especially being the fact that they're not going to be that experienced returning on the offensive side of the football. You look at kind of the more difficult games. I think Texas A&M, of course, um, is going to be challenging. And then going to Florida early on in the season and then finishing out with Auburn, you know, it's always tough going onto the road um, in Auburn for the Iron Bowl. Hey, hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We appreciate you being here more than you know right here on BamaInsider.com.